Okay guys, so Dr. Nick here. I just wanted to share another really great rehab tool that I've been using for my knee injury. I'm gonna show you guys some voodoo floss stuff. Now I call it voodoo floss because that's the way I learned this term, but floss bands, floss mobility, or other things that this might go by. Uh, I have two bands here. I have a two inch and a four inch. There are different brands. I don't care what brand you use because there are any brands that are paying me to do this. So I'm gonna use the four inch because I'm using it on a larger joint. And what I wanna do, so I'm gonna take the band, I'm gonna go underneath the joint and I'm gonna go into an external rotation motion because I'm trying to bias my knee again on the outside. So. What I'm going to do is I can take that, I'm going to do an anchor strip, and I want to go to 10% stretch on that. Now, unlike when you're using a tensor bandage, you're not going to cross over the joint in any way, and I don't care if I leave windows, okay? So I'm going to keep on loading that. I'm going to go right up to the very bottom of my patella, and then over top, oh, keep that band under tension the whole time. And I'm crossing over about 50% of the strip before me with the band. And then once I get to there, I want to anchor it. So I'm going to pull that band up, tuck it underneath. Okay, now I got a lot of tension on my knee. And from here, I'm just going to go underneath my knee. I'm going to hang onto it. And I'm going to find that little groove of my shin bone. That's where my fingers are going to go. I'm going to sit back. My knee is flexed as much as I can. And then I'm going to start to bring my toes by externally rotating my ankle this way into that sore spot and then from there I'm going to extend my knee and then I'm going to go the other way. Okay, From there I'm going to go back into that external rotation, flex all the way down and then internal re rotate. Okay, This is often called the knee car. Um, all I'm doing is going through the max range of motion of my tibia on my femur. Okay, so I'm really trying to externally rotate my ankle pushing that up and then I'll internally rotate it in deflection and all the way up and down. So by reaching underneath my leg into that position, I'm really trying to isolate my shin bone, my tibia on my femur. So my leg is just nice and heavy in this arm. I'm not holding it up by my hip muscles, I'm just underneath kind of passively letting that leg flex so I can really focus on the muscles just working at the knee. Okay guys, so now that I've shown you some open chain movements for the floss band and the knee, I'm going to show you some closed chain. So the difference between open and closed chain is the joint that I've, I'm interested in is loaded by my body weight on gravity. I'm not in space with an external load, okay? So I'm going to stand again on my knee of interest, okay? And from here, actually, I'm going to just put my knees together and I'm going to go through that same kind of motion that we were doing with the band before, but with the voodoo floss on, okay? Just working all the ranges, as much rotation as I can get. And this time I'm working the femur on top of the tibia, okay? On top of that shin bone. And I'll probably do like 20 either direction. Okay? Once I've done those, okay, I'm going to stand again. I have the voodoo floss around my knee. From here, I'm going to work right into my squat patterns, okay? So squat is a very important functional movement in which I need all the joints of the lower kinetic chain to be working optimally. So I'm going to just slowly start to work my way into that squat pattern. Okay, good. So I'm actively loading this joint now. Okay, and if I want to get fancy with it, I can start to do more of a Cossack squat move pattern just to really load up that lateral side of the knee. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe because we will be posting more videos just like it. See you guys next time.